been over four years since the release of Cisco DNA Center, and it's matured into a complete network management system an automation and orchestration engine, an AI ML analytics platform, a software-defined network controller, and an endpoint identification and policy engine for zero-trust networking. This new management platform can streamline operations, make your team more agile, and provide an improved user experience on the network. It's definitely time to migrate from your old Cisco Prime infrastructure. The question is, how do you reduce the cost and time you spend on this migration? More specifically, how can you verify that Cisco DNA Center will support the hardware devices and software currently installed on your network? What about use cases? Will you have to change your company workflows because your use cases in prime infrastructure are not supported in Cisco DNA Center? The same for reports. If Cisco DNA Center does not provide the reporting your team is used to, you may have to change your IT team workflows. And finally, how long will the learning curve be and what effect will this have on your team's productivity? Cisco engineers have put together a migration program that answers these questions and gives you the confidence to upgrade to Cisco DNA Center without an excessive investment in cost or time. Your first step will be to verify that you are running Prime Infrastructure version 3.5 or higher. For reference, this is the version that launched in March 2018. Then download the new PDART tool at cisco.com forward slash go forward slash prime to DNAC. The PDART tool is installed on your Prime Infrastructure appliance and will complete a number of checks in about 10 minutes. Then you will be shown a report that will prepare you for your migration. The PDART report is very detailed and is delivered in a PDF format that can be easily shared. Here, I'm showing the first page of the report, which gives an overview of the main points. On the first line is information on your devices. I have 518 devices on my network, 517 are supported, none require software updates, and one of the devices is not supported by DNA Center. Then look at your use cases. PDART found that I am using 48 use cases in Prime, and 47 of these are supported in DNA Center. And finally, reports. 12 of the 14 reports that I'm using are supported. One of them is not supported, and the other is on the DNA Center roadmap. The rest of the PDART report includes the details on these issues, like which specific devices, use cases, and reports are not supported, and where can I get information on workarounds. Once your network is prepared, you're ready to install Cisco DNA Center. Once you've installed your DNA Center appliance on your local network, you'll want to synchronize your Prime and DNA Center. In Prime Infrastructure, go to Administration, Settings, System Settings, and click on Cisco DNA Center Coexistence. Then launch the Cisco DNA Center Coexistence tool. The Cisco DNA Center Coexistence tool will initiate a data sharing channel that will provide all of your prime infrastructure maps, topology, devices, images, configurations, and templates into your Cisco DNA Center. You can keep the two systems running in parallel or migrate completely over. In this way, you're able to train your team on Cisco DNA Center at your convenience while your prime infrastructure is still available. Train and migrate your IT team in groups in order to have less effect on productivity and efficiency. This process might last you a month, several months, or even a year, whatever is best for your IT team's productivity. Migrating from prime infrastructure to Cisco DNA Center is easier than you thought. Learn more at cisco.com slash go slash prime to DNAC.